Hi guys, today on Divas Can Cook, we are doing another cookbook recipe. I always get so excited when I get to do a recipe from my cookbook. If you have not checked out my cookbook memoir, go on over to my site, get it. It's red, it's ready to go and you can get free shipping with code free ship. Don't forget that, free ship will get you free ground shipping. Last time I did a video for this recipe right here, my strawberry cake, and today we're gonna be doing banana pudding, one of my favorites, the easiest, easiest recipe like for real so easy y'all ready let's go okay we're gonna start by making our homemade pudding a homemade vanilla pudding we're gonna add some sugar into the pot now this pudding is sweet okay if you don't like it sweet you can cut down on sugar but yeah i like it sweet that was some cornstarch going in to help thicken it up and a generous generous pinch of salt we're going to whisk this all around you want to make sure that it's nice and smooth you could also sift it that's probably best but i'm like i am not about to wash a sifter i can just do it all in one little pot so i just use my little whisk to kind of break it up and next i'm going to add in some warm milk okay just pour that milk in there and stir it around you want to make sure that you don't have any lumps in there we want nice and smooth smooth and creamy pudding so go ahead and just pour that milk in and stir it as you're pouring it in and this pudding does not have any eggs and i love that because i do not like homemade banana pudding if it's made with eggs so this recipe mm -hmm, yeah my family love this recipe right here because of the no eggs okay we're gonna whisk this around constantly okay it's constant whisking here because it's so easy to burn and scorch this i have my heat like on a medium low we're gonna whisk it around just until it begins to thicken up okay it's to thicken up i can tell looking at it you see how it's kind of thickening up a little bit yep we are almost there you don't want to boil this at all you want it to kind of steam it takes a while i know it's kind of boring but just keep on stirring it. eventually you'll have a nice thick pudding like this right here you don't have to get it this thick because this is kind of almost too thick but yeah that looks great we're going to take it off the heat and next i'm going to add in a little bit of butter this butter yes this butter makes it I just love it. I love adding butter to this pudding. It just tastes so good. Okay, so now we're gonna add that butter. Now go ahead and just stir it up until all that butter just melts down. The pudding is so hot, so the butter melts down really, really quick. Next, we're gonna add in some vanilla extract. Use a really good brand here because this is the flavoring for our pudding. You know, just regular old vanilla extract. You may not need that much because some brands are like super duper strong, but usually two tablespoons. That's good for me. Okay, we're gonna set our pudding aside. It is done. We're gonna set it aside and let it cool off. Meanwhile, we are going to move on to making our whipped topping. You can't skip this step. It just, it goes with the pudding so well. Okay, so I have some heavy whipping cream. It's nice and cold. I'm gonna add it into my bowl here. Next, I'm gonna add in some powdered sugar to sweeten it up a little bit. And then we're just gonna mix it on up until it becomes light and airy and fluffy. This won't take long at all. Um, if your whipping cream is nice and cold, you see how it's all creamy and fluffy. So when it can hold stiff peaks, when you lift those beaters up, that's when you know it's ready. Okay, so here's all of our ingredients. We are ready to put together our pudding. So you can do this any way you want to, it really doesn't matter. But I like to start with a layer of cookies on the bottom. I'm using vanilla wafers. You can use chessmen cookies, whatever kind you like. And then we're gonna add a layer of bananas. Okay, just like signs, arrange it and make it look all cute. And then we're gonna add a layer of pudding, half of the pudding mixture. Now this recipe is designed to go in a loaf pan, okay? Yes, a glass loaf pan because it doesn't make a lot. And when you use like a narrow pan, you can see all those beautiful layers. But a family member of mine broke my loaf pan and she watches my channel so she knows exactly who she is. My favorite loaf pan, mm-hmm, broke it. So I'm gonna use this bigger one. Now, okay, now we just go ahead and just repeat that. You know, um, cookies, bananas, and more pudding. Go ahead and just spread it on out, just like this right here, okay? I'm using an offset spatula. It makes it so easy. Now your pudding may not look as thick as mine because this is the next day. I made my pudding, put it in the fridge, and then I made, I put everything together on video the next day. So if yours isn't this thick, don't worry about it. It will thicken up. Okay, now finally, we're gonna add our whipped topping layer, dump it on top, and then just spread it on now I like doing this part right here just spreading it it's so it's kind of you know kind of relaxing we'll just spread it out just like that now you can decorate the top any way you want to I have a certain way that I always decorate mine I just place some cookies in a row over the top like this right here mm -hmm. and then I get like some crushed up cookies and I put it on top yep I like that and then when I'm getting ready to serve it I'll slice up some fresh bananas and also some fresh cookies because I like to have crunchy cookies in there and like really fresh bananas so 
that's just how I like it. Okay, so we're done with this part. So we're gonna go ahead and just cover it on up. We're gonna pop it into the fridge for about one hour just to get everything all nice and cold and stuff. And then you're ready to serve it. Go ahead and serve it. And there's those fresh bananas on top. I like the way that looks, it's so pretty. And I put a little bit of lemon juice on those bananas to keep them from turning brown. But yeah, you're ready to serve it. Serve it nice and cold. If you prefer your banana pudding made with a instant box mix, like I actually do, then you're gonna like this recipe because it tastes so similar to that kind. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my other videos. Later.